What's up, everybody? It's Danny and Parker back here again at Excellent Sound. What's up, guys? We are Excellent Sound. Did you guys know that? Did you? Did you know? <laughs> Is that why? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be showing you guys how to make this getter smash called Choppa with space laces. Sounds a little something like Get this. Get Yep, we're going to show you guys how to make that lead sound right oh, there. Oh, yeah. And as always, it is in the download description below for you for free. Down below. And we're going to be showing you how to make an 808, too. Yeah, that's going to be a that's gonna be a little bonus feature for you guys. Because fuck it. Why not? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Because we love you guys, and, you know, it's a fat-ass 808. So if you guys want to go get it right now, you can go get it and leave if you want. Don't, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Obviously, I don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> Obviously. It's clear. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> unclear fuck or shit yeah. say hi to the people in the back we got bacon in the back we got babe babe dot b a b three dot official in the back we got jacques a we got jacques, a. Top jacques left. A. also Top known right. as jake abrams jake jake abramson at SoundCloud. <laughs> oh, oh man butchered right. yeah i fucking butchered. Rule. anyway uh we're gonna be going into this uh we're gonna show you guys how to make uh getters 808 and we're going to be showing you guys how to make this lead sound. I'm going to show you how all the drop shit works. It's pretty simple. It sounds like this. Whoops, I guess should go higher. Woo! Yeah. Super sick to hear this. A uh, couple things, too, before you know that. Getter has... Is it out yet? His new EP, Visceral? Uh, No, it's not out yet. Shout out to Getter. I think it's coming out in uh, probably a couple weeks. Hopefully he doesn't but, fucking... But Space, Space Laces is out. Space Laces. Yeah, yeah. no, Visceral's coming out. And space laces, but visceral is his new EP. I want to I want to promote it. Um, it's fucking super. I saw like a teaser for it. He's really trying to do some. Uh, some it's super stuff. different. Super different. Yeah, like he's like you know he's like dude. I don't. I want to make what I want to make. I support that dude. Yeah, I really like that too. So shout out to you, Getter. Uh, shout out to space laces. Uh, we're gonna try our best to remake this. I think we did all right. Hopefully, you guys can learn something from it. Uh, and also too, if you guys are in the excellent subs and webs. Our Facebook group, you probably already got this preset. You guys already have it. And if you didn't, well, maybe you should join up. Join up and, and if you download like, that shit. You like these two guys right here? These two sons of bitches? Sorry, Mom. Um, we are... <laughs> you can subscribe. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, man. You can leave a like, yeah. comment. There it is. And and yeah, just fucking... Or you can suck support, a dick. Support. <laughs> support. Supporting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Let's go over some of the elements in here. Uh, first thing is the drop sound, which sounds like this. Super straightforward. Uh, drums are pretty simple. It's just a kick and a clap. Uh, and there's just like perk sound, which I'm going to talk about. The 808 we're going to be showing you guys how to make today sounds like this. Hold on, let me make sure I get the octave right. Oh, oh fatty. Fatty 808. This, I'm not using this in the song. I'll explain why I was trying this 808 out and decided to... to to uh show you guys how to make it just for fun uh i'll explain that later uh so we got uh the 808's not doing anything but yeah we got the lead we got this clap uh this clap sounds like this oh oh my oh my god fresh clap dude how do you guys do that, that? super fresh clap how do you guys make your samples how did you get that clap i fucking made it dude how did you make that clap I, i'm not telling you dude. oh it's a secret <laughs> uh, for you guys but it's a secret you can ask me where to get it where, where can I get that clap? You can get that clap in Signature Series Volume 4. Oh, Which will yeah. be announced with our new pack. Which Coming at you. We are announce our new pack next week. Oh, Stay tuned. Shit. Coming at you. Coming at you. We've been you. hinting at it. Yeah. Hinting lots of hints and lots of secretive God. talks. Lots of secretive talks. Lots of uh, sunglasses. We got some kicks in here. Sounds like this. And there's like these perks. Yeah. And the yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. simple. Yeah. And like, yeah. so this is what I want to talk yeah. about too. Is like, yeah. Yeah. those are all the drums elements. There's no mixing. I just did some lows. I boosted a little bit of two. Was this two, 400 hertz on the clap? I don't fucking know why. It just sounded good. Um, perk two. I'm, these are just yeah. These are simple. But um, yeah. So the the kick and the sub are sounding really nice together uh the kick will be in the signature series volume two i want to talk about these perks real quick they sound like really shitty yeah, yeah, yeah. i have the clap in there too but you can or the yeah thing 
because these are like bits I took, but like, like, okay, let's talk about that sound for a second. I don't want to spend yeah. too much time on it. Yeah, but yeah. Like everyone's like, oh, like samples. Like, has anyone ever gotten like the Skrillex um, sample pack or whatever that leaked or whatever? I don't know. If yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like if you listen to it, you're like, these sounds like kind of suck. Like they yeah. don't suck. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. They don't suck. They just don't. By themselves. By themselves, they aren't. Um, they're not like outstanding, but when you hear it with everything, it sounds amazing. Yeah, and I it's feel like, like the perfect sound. Yeah, and like this is like a good example. Like this perk right here, whatever it is, it's like a click. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds yeah. fucking awesome. I mean, I did my best to try to get like to to sound as as close to Getter as I could. Uh, he's an amazing. Uh, he's got really great mixing and he's yeah, an awesome fucking. His mastering is insane, but his sound selection, his sound design is just. It's just bar none. It's just awesome. And it's really cool that it's like a signature sound, too. Uh -huh. It's kind of like it kind of reflects his personality, too. You know, yeah. it's kind of like funny sounds or like kind of, you know, uh, very toyish sounding, you know? Yeah, like this is Does just that make a, sense? I don't even I would have never done that. Yeah. But it sounds sick. That. I just wanted to point that out. So just like for you guys, for your own thinking, when you're when you're making, uh, you know, when you're making your tracks, like maybe try to find like a a weird sample that like doesn't. I don't know. That's you. I don't know. That's just. I. I just wanted to point that out. So, getting um, personal. I'm getting personal. So, uh, the other thing we got in here too is like this lead thing that I kind of showed you. Um, let's do the lead first, and then we'll do the 808. Yeah, let's do the lead. Wait, let me solo. I already showed the 808. Okay, let's do the lead. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new uh, MIDI track. Shift Command T. Bam. Just like so. I'm gonna open up a Serum. VST. Drag that shit in there, copy to MIDI, copy to MIDI, put nice. it in there, turn that off, sounds like this now. <laughs> Please somebody do a drop like that. <laughs> Please. It might be the hardest thing ever, you never know. Okay, so this sound, let me move this over, is actually uh, fairly simple. Yep, believe it or not. And Getter, I've watched videos of him before, he uh he tends to use a lot of basic shapes, right? Who else uses basic shapes? These guys. Oh yeah. These, these, these guys, guys right here. These guys. Right there. These shiny horn guys. These dudes. We use basic shapes, right? And I think that a lot of people get into I mean, sometimes with like complex growls and stuff like that, you do need to use like heavier wavetables. But you can get a lot of fun stuff with just you know, just when it sounds good, it sounds good. You gotta know when to stop. Okay? And that's exactly. what I did on this sound. I was like, hey, it sounds good. That sounds pretty much like it. Done. Right? I'm going to show you guys. It's pretty simple. We're going to do it right now for you. So first thing first is oscillator A is just a basic shape just like this. It's just the basic saw. There is no wavetail position. I move this. It does not matter. It comes stock in Serum, which actually I believe sounds different. If, let's do an experiment right now. Yeah, sound, sounds different than the basic shape version. So that's that one. Da, 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 da. Analog. Let's go basic shapes. Slightly different. Sounds a little different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, I don't know how to get back to it. Fuck it. Just do init. Oh, yeah. Good good call, dude. Init, init preset. I don't know. Maybe yeah, it, it sounds, sounds a little different. Okay. So first things first, uh, just leave it on the stock, whatever saw wave it is right here. Uh, I'm going to leave everything stock. Besides, I'm going to turn the unison up to three waves of unison, and I'm going to turn the detune down to uh, 0.03. 0.03. It's hard to see because my future is so bright. Um, <laughs> there, thank you. So bright. So. It should be sounding like this. Okay. Um, shout out the reverb filter because we're about to use that shit right now. Filter, uh, bolt tie. If, if it ever has like a metal sound or like a, um, I don't know, how would you characterize this sound? It's like screechy oh yeah you said it's like wee wecky yeah it's, it's like, kind of like that wee weck track that everybody loves uh, it's usually a reverb filter and if you just take a saw away with a reverb filter watch this is going to sound pretty much just like it as it is okay so i'm gonna put a reverb filter on uh cut off i'm gonna move it kind of down like this um i'm gonna move the cut off to like 23 hearts 23 that's kind of like the boombox alamo but the other, the key thing with the reverb filter is the resonance right here, guys. Yeah. Nug and Nodge, smoke some fucking Nodge. Smoke this shit up. When messing, I'm going to try to say it like how Baker writes it. 
<laughs> when when using the reverb filter, try you messing with the resonance knob to get interesting tones and correlations of the universe. <laughs> yes. Was that it? Perfect. Parentheses closed. Parentheses closed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the resonance is going to do... That does a lot. And then if I like move the cutoff knob... <laughs> Right? Yep. Interesting. Okay. Cut off back at 23. Oh, I had it. That was, whoa. And what's the resonance? 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. Okay, cool. Um, Mix all the way up. Yep, that's stock. Okay. Envelope one. Now, I did this. Uh, actually, I'll do this after so I can explain what that does so people can learn. Uh, okay, so we're going to make our first LFO. We're going to make something kind of like this, right? I'm gonna do a little clicky like that. I'm gonna do a little round hump like this. And this guy's gonna be kind of curled down like that. Right, Parker? Yep, that looks good. And then this is gonna be kind of more like this and kind of curled like this. I don't know what this looks like. I always say it looks like either a shark's fin or a titty, but. That'd be a weird titty. That would be a weird titty. <laughs> Just go ahead and make a weird titty shape out of elephant <laughs> one. <laughs> oh yeah. That looks pretty. I think I nailed it, dude. Yeah, I think you did too. All right, I'm gonna make it more like that. We, we might have to dial it in a little bit, but uh, let's go ahead and put it on trigger and leave it on quarter. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the course pitch, just like so. Boop. Nope, didn't work. Here we go. Course pitch. Damn. Oh, this is supposed to be three waves of unison. Sorry. Right. Yep. It's already doing a lot. What that's doing is that's messing with the pitch. You're going, woo, woo. Imagine this going up to the, the top of the pitch. Just, it should be at 19, I think. You can't see it, but yeah, 19. Is that right, Parker? Correct. Awesome. Correcto. Uh, next, it's going to be, I put it on the detune too, apparently. Yep. I put just a little bit. Yeah. Dose. What, like two? Two. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's gonna, just going to go up a little bit. I don't. That's probably not even fucking doing anything, but, <laughs> but whatever. Go ahead and do that. Okay, let's get into uh, LFO2. We're going to make it look like this. Just like so. It's set it, to, it on there. to trigger and set it to quarter. Yeah, that's good. Let's hear how this is sounding in the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much... <laughs> pretty much yeah. there. Pretty much there. You just have to activate it. Yeah. We just got to make this shit loud, so let's get this shit popping. Um, okay. LFO2 is going to go on some different stuff. We're going to do that in the effects. So effects, let's pull this up. Super simple. Didn't go overboard. I didn't even really have to add the phaser. I did. Should it. we should we go over the envelope first or? No, I'm going to get I'm going to get into that because they're going to see why in okay, a minute. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so Fazer, fa uh, turn the rate it's down. It was just Fazer's day. It was Fazer's day. <laughs> it was just Fazer's day. <laughs> did you call your Fazer's? I called my Fazer. I texted him. Turn that mix rate all the way up. He said, "You're not mine." <laughs> And then we went on Mori Povich. <laughs> That's fucked up. No, with my dad, Drake. My dad's a great man. He wears loafers with socks. Shout out, dad. Shout out your dad. <laughs> he does though. Loafers with socks. Like Michael Jackson loafers. Yeah, that's the perfect dad like thing to do. My dad's name is Gino. Like, how fucking boss can you get? What boss, up, dad? Mr. Gino. Shout out to my dad. So proud of me right now. <laughs> okay. Anyway. The internet lasts forever, son. <laughs> okay, phaser, turn the rate down. Uh, depth, turn it down to, what's the depth at? 16. 16. And pregnant. Okay, frequency. We didn't, we didn't load this up? No, fuck it. This oh, is super simple. shit, okay. This is a fast sound. I, I know, I know, I know. 53 frequency hertz. Uh, feedback is at 80. Cool. Phase is at 180. Mix is at? Uh, 20. 20. Yeah, this one's like super quick. There's not yeah, like anything fast. happening. Uh, okay, compressor, bam, multi-band, turn that up. Uh, leave all this shit pretty much stock, and then just turn the gain up, make it louder. Nice. Like right there, like 8.9 dB. Next, we're going to do some filtering. I'm going to move that up. Uh, another thing to get it more metallic sounding is I made a comb filter. Or I didn't make one. I just chose it. Uh, should be in the flanges, and it's comb minus or comb plus. Comb minus. One of my favorite filters. Uh 
if you don't like using the reverb filter because it's played out, but you want like something kind of cool, metallic, use the comb filter. It's super fun. Uh, 43 hertz. Okay. Oops, that's 44. Come on, baby. Come. Oh, God damn it. Fucking Kermodes. Whatever. Kermodes. Uh, 51 for the resonance. The same thing with the reverb filter. You can't really see it, but that resonance in a comb filter is going to do a lot of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I got that to 51, and the mix knob is going to be turned down to 39? 33. 33. Thirds, thirds? Thirds, thirds. Thirds, thirds. <laughs> Nice. Sounds like a siren. Uh, next, I did some reverb filter. You don't have to do this. I put a macro on it too for you guys if you want. It's, don't forget, it's in the download description below. You made a sound. That was cool. Yeah. It's like a little little SFX. It's like a kiss. It's like a. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, reverb filter. Put it on a haul. Size is good. Decay. Turn it up to like. There, 7.5? 7, 7. 8.5. 8.5? 8.5s. Perfect. Low cut is good. High cut is good. Spin is good. Uh, spin depth is good. And mix is just up a little bit to like 28. Dosevs. Dosevs. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put LFO2 on the mix knob. I'm going to pull it all the way down. I'm trying to get that metal sound like the chink. <laughs> It's kind of cool if you leave it like that. There's not a lot of reverb in this sound like yeah. when it's playing, but. And then I'm also going to put LFO2 on the decay and have it go all the way down. And that's set to trigger, right? It's kind of like another reverb filter. And then I put a macro on the mix knob. Um, I put this uh, here. What did I do with the macro? Oh, I think I turned it. Oh, yeah, I turned it down like this, all the way down. So that way, if it's all the way up, that means that the mix knob is down and we're not getting that. And I called it verb. Verbage. Let's hear how it sounds. I might be able to go like Anyway, uh, okay, so that's looking good. Uh, LFO2, that's pretty much done. Uh, okay, now let's get into. So I didn't really want that extra. So what I did with envelope one is I just kind of took the release down all the way and I took the sustain down and I moved the decay like this and I just kind of rounded it like this. So it's just like a one shot type of. And I turned the attack all the way down. So it hits fast. Now you don't have to keep it like that, but that's why I did that. It's kind of going a little too long. It actually sounds, yeah, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, sounds nasty. So that's why I did the envelope last, so they can understand what that is. And cool. the envelope, for you guys that don't know, smoke a bowl of Nodge. Damn, you guys must be high AF. High AF. On knowledge. Okay, so envelopes, all right? Let's talk about envelopes for a second. Envelope one, right, is the main envelope in Serum, okay? So this is the attack, decay, sustain, release, and hold. Hold, don't really, I don't really fuck with too much, but it does do something. I don't fucking know. Anyway, attack is how fast the sound actually comes in. This is basic sound design 101 if you don't know this, okay? Decay is essentially how long the note will uh, subside, right? Would that be a good description of it for? Yeah. Sustain, if I have the sustain all the way up, it's going to go as long as I hold the key down. If I turn it down doesn't decay is the actual length of that first one hit mm -hmm. okay release is how long it, it lasts for the tail end of it so in this case a d s r right attack decay sustain release. release basics and sound design now a lot of times we don't mess with this and that's because we're using god damn my fingerboard dude a lot of times we don't mess with this and that's because we're using uh lfo sometimes to uh on a level knob, for instance, if I put an LFO on this level knob right here, right? Let's say I do something like this. I'll do it super sharp. That's a wet one. Man. It was. I'm sorry about that. Jeez. And I just go like this. I can't really hear it, right? That's because this is now kind of overruling this by putting yeah. it on the level. So just kind of an interesting thing for you guys to understand. 
LFOs are the same thing as envelopes, right? They are. They just have the ability to do a lot more, okay? Um, I can't really draw an envelope. I could kind of shape it, but I can't really draw and do complex stuff. So LFOs are the same thing as envelope. They're all doing, they're all doing ADSR. They're all adjusting uh, volume over time, essentially, or, or uh, modulation, right? Yep. That makes sense? Okay. Totally. So I'm going to put this back. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this sound. We're going to go ahead and uh, do some uh, processing on it to make it sound really fat. Um, so first thing I did is I... Do you have the rack loaded up, Parker? I do not. You want me to oh, load you know what? that? Oh, actually, you don't need to. I have it right here. I yeah. should have brought it down. That's my bad. I'm going to copy this, and we'll go over this real quick. Let's hear how it sounds without the rack altogether. I'm going to turn on the sheet off. I'll just kind of go over briefly what it, why I use some of this stuff. Okay, so the first thing I did is like uh, kind of like that. Uh, God, my nose hurts, dude. Ow. It's probably because of those big-ass fucking glasses on your face. What glasses? <laughs> you know, the... The thing that is covering your eyes right now, you know, maybe is that hurting your fucking schnoz? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, I guess go on with your okay. <laughs> with your fucking effects over here. All right, so we got uh, first thing we got a simple delay. We're using a Haas effects type of thing. Uh, it sounds kind of more metallic, -y, robotic. It spreads it to left and right. I got the left side to s switch to time, and the right side switches to time at 12.7 milliseconds, and then the right side's at 17.4 milliseconds. So that means that there's a delay of 12.7 milliseconds, and then the right side's at 17.4 milliseconds. So that means the left speaker is going to play whatever five. I can't do math. Pretty, pretty. Five point seven. Did I just nail that? Oh shit! Damn, what up, teachers? <laughs> were you what, good at algebra? Were you good at math in school? Fuck no, dude. dude I got put in consumer math. Dude, I think I was in that too. Yeah, like high school, like dude. Pretty just, sure I was in that too. Geometry. I Let's can't just... remember what that was called. Yeah, but look at me now, bro. Yeah. Doing, doing math and serums. sound design. Showing them all up. Yeah. What did you, what was called consumer math? Mine was called consumer math. I think math. mine was called essentials math. Essent yeah. Yeah, essentials. <laughs> <laughs> the essentials. I think I could have been good at math if I had like really tried. If there was like a, a serum like on the paper. Well, like I, I was good at like, like, like thinking of like, um, I would make up my own ways of doing it. You know what I yeah. mean? But then they had these ways, like these formula things that you have to like memorize. I yeah, like, no, I didn't that. give a shit about math at all. No. Anyway, fuck math. Failed out. <laughs> math is sound design. Uh, okay, so simple delay. That looks good. Feedback's at 35. Dry wet's at 50 sevs. Uh, OTT to the max. Pull up highs. Pull up mids. Pull up lows. Just like so. Sounds like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, put up another one, make it more, even more compressed. You can do this or not if you don't want to. It's basically the same thing, pretty much. I just did, yeah, it's exactly, I duplicated it. It's 100%. And then uh, last thing I used was a frequency shifter. I don't necessarily know if this is necessary, but I watched a lot of Getter's videos sometimes when he does his tutorials, which you guys should too. If you ever see him doing anything, watch his tutorials because they're really helpful. Uh, he uses frequency shifter a lot. So I was like, oh, maybe this will give it a characteristic. Yeah. And it kind of did. Uh, I just have it at 20 hertz, um, 0.04 hertz for the rate. Dry wet at 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. It's kind of making it more, I don't know, bouncy, Squilly I guess. Squiggly or some shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't necessarily know if it's necessary, but just something for you guys to, to fuck with. What's kind of cool about it, too, is I can kind of move this amount knob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kind of mess with it. You can get some interesting stuff. Uh, fun thing for you guys. Okay, so that's it for this sound. Don't forget, it's in the download description below. Uh, next, we're going to show you guys how to do Getters 808. And I cannot take the credit for this. I kind of did my own stuff to it a little bit. I changed it a little bit. But uh, Getter has a video where he goes uh, through colorblind. Uh, check that out, too. Give him some love. Um, yeah, that's a pretty cool video. He shows uh, he shows a lot of stuff. And he was showing how he makes his 808s. And I, this is how I make my 808s too. But uh, he brought up an interesting point, which I thought was really interesting. He's like, he said that he tries to think of the shape of sounds, mm -hmm. right? So the shape of sounds of an 808 is like a, p like a, p and also virtual riot says that too. Yeah. So when you're thinking about it, you have to have your own understanding, whatever it may be. But like the shape of an actual sound of like, is it hit fast right away and then and die out? And that's kind of like an 808, right? Yeah. So this 808 is pretty fat. Sounds like this. It's got a lot of processing on it. I'm going to turn off the rack. You can't hear shit, but fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and make a new MIDI track. Yep. Pull up a serum. It's like so. 
So uh, he uses triangle waves. You can use a uh, uh, sine wave if you want, but we're going to do what he did for a minute. We're going to go uh, to triangle wave. Oh, that's a BD sine. Sine waves are a lot uh, less harmonic, uh, but triangles have a little bit more, and they are a little bit subby, which is nice. Set it down to minus two octaves. There's our sub, right? Pretty simple. Uh, the envelope, which we just talked about, we're just going to kind of make it hit like an 808. So I'm just going to pull this and kind of set it where I want it. So it just kind of releases slow. That's how most 808s are. They start and then they kind of uh, eventually slow out over time. That's pretty good. I like that. It's pretty simple. Make sure that we have it on mono and legato because it's a mono, it's a mono hit, right? It's a mono. Uh, most of our subs should be in mono. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, LFO right here. I'm just going to drag it there. I'm going to click down. And this is going to be our kick. This is going to be like our poof. I don't want to like pop the mic, but it's kind of like that. Now, he kind of did his like a little bit sharper like this. I kind of wanted to do it more like this because I wanted a little bit more of a, a punch. And I just kind of dragged this on the course pitch. And I set it to envelope, I believe, and eighths, like so. Oops. Hard for people to hear. Let me turn it up. So what that's doing is that's pitching it up right away to the to 19 or whatever it's at stock. Yeah, it's pitching it up to 19 and then it's lowering the pitch right away. So it kind of creates that poof, that punch sound. And then you can adjust this and, and that's like your top kick. Art style. Yeah, dude. Some gabber. And then you can get even creative with it too. You know, you can add some more harmonics if you wanted to. I didn't do this, but you know, I can be like, like maybe I'll turn the level down on this, like to get. What's up, little pump? Anyway, so yeah, you can mess around with that shit. Uh, effects. Um, did I do anything in the effects? you just put, uh, put on some compression yeah i didn't do anything yeah okay but yeah you can compress it in here but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make this thing sound fat sounds pretty good as it is right yeah it's clean that's like eliminate 808 or uh, who else is 808s like this uh just that i always say like it's kind of popular yeah i always say like toyish because mm -hmm. it sounds like fun like yeah but you know exactly uh this is not will not be in the download description below parker's gonna do something with it if you want to download yeah it. we uh I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. I don't we're, know. What we're we're gonna still do thinking yet. about if we're going to put it in the signature series or if we're going to give you it down below. But it's it's like you said, it's, it's pretty simple. We could be making it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, effect rack. I'm going to paste it in right now. I'm just going to go over it very briefly. Oops. Command V. This is Getter 808 uh, rack. Uh, I, this is where I did some different stuff than him, but like. I he think these went 808s over. are like the point of them is like to sound good when they're really high and when they're low. And the main point right. too, yeah, and also, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Like, well, I'll, I'll do it after, it I, yeah, when I process it. So the first thing uh, we do is we add an overdrive, just like so. Ooh, nice transition, Baker. I saw that shit. And they got this filter right here, right? So this filter, you can kind of add. Um, you can you can just say, hey, just overdrive these things. But what happens is it kind of cuts off the lows right here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fix that. Uh, we're going to show you two ways. And Getter showed us that too. But um, just kind of a nice thing to know. Uh, we're going to double overdrive it. Everything's at 50-50, right? Uh, I just added another one. Sounds like this now. Oops, sounds like this. And you can kind of flip-flop this shit around if you want. Um, saturator is next. Uh, just analog clip. 100% everything, and it just boosted the gain. It's like super, like, uh, uh, what did he say? He said, ex extentacion. Oh, yeah. What happens is you lose some low end, right? Because of this overdrive cut that we talked about. Um, so you can do this. You can just boost the low ends back up. Yeah, it's about, about like 4 dB or there's, something. There's kind of like a, a an overdrived 808 or something in this song. Um, but this is kind of like how it would be, essentially. Yeah. Uh, next, what you could do is all, you can look up kick tight, which is a great trick for 808s in general. I recommend putting this on a lot of your 808s. Um, find the key. I'm going to turn off this uh, the uh, EQ8. Uh, this is, I think, D sharp. No, D flat. Wait, I don't fucking know. Whatever. D sharp, E flat, whatever. D sharp. And I could just kind of change the dry wet. 
to kind of get my it, my uh definitely focuses it yeah look at that look at that low end kind of coming back look at it right here so look at your look at your fucking the, a big thing that i learned about 808s from watching uh producers that were better than me is they would always be checking in on the spectrum analyzer yeah um Nugganage. Uh yeah, so check like when you're when you're doing um your 808s, like like look at how they're they're sitting and compare them to other people's. You see how much how, like if I look at the DB of my low end right here and I compare that to somebody else's, I should get a good idea. So kick tight, if I turn it off, it's a lot different. Versus on. There's a little bit more of that in there, right? It's adding that kind of frequency. Um I can also change the tune down to a like a lower D sharp. So let's try that too. Let's see what happens. Kind of like that too. Maybe I want to double up. Fuck it. Just get weird, bro. Yeah. Let's put this one up. Oh, oh, my headphones are going. That's kind of crispy. Maybe I'll cut some high end out of this one. And then a higher octave like Parker was saying. Everybody likes doing those swingy, like high noted ones, you know? Yeah. Fucking, these <laughs> always sound the best as, as like super high notes or really low. Exactly. So, um, that, I, I, I hate like making dual 808s, you know? Like yeah, one I hate for that the highs too. Yeah. and then one for the that's lows. A, it's like fucking annoying. That's a really good point. Yeah. Cause it's, it, just to make them both sound really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you want these, them to sound good in all registers. Exactly. But that's not always possible sometimes, you know? Yeah. Um, but go off what you guys think. Sorry, were you going to say something else? About no, it? no, no, no. That was it. Um, so let's hear how this sounds again all together. I'm not going to play the 808 in here, but I'm just showing you guys how to make a cool 808. Uh, sounds like this. Don't forget to grab that shit in the download description below. So thank you guys for joining there you us. Have it. Hopefully you learned something. Don't look forward to uh, next week and our next remake video. We will be announcing a new pack. Yes, we I are. Said it, so now yes, we, we are. <laughs> uh, make sure you guys are uh, subscribed on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Our tag is at XLNT Sound. Um, Find us on everything. Oh, I have an announcement. Announce. We got some merchandise. Oh yeah. Should be up on the store now. Oh yeah. What do we got um, up there, Danny? I think we got some hoodies and got some hoodies. I don't know if we uploaded the shirt yet, but check to see if the, the shirts might be up too. I forgot. Grab uh, it while it's hot. Yeah, we're doing uh, some limited merch and try it out. So if you guys want a fucking excellent hoodie, we're gonna be trying to do um some cooler some cooler ideas. This is just some like uh cool like bo basic uh stock uh Yeah, go stuff. grab that stuff, take some pictures of it, mm -hmm. you know, take some selfies. And also, don't forget, too, if you like our stuff, uh, we make sample packs. Hey, did you know that? Yeah. Oh, By the way, yeah. we make sample packs and we make serum presets. What? A sound design YouTube what? that makes serum presets? No way. But they're really fucking good. We got a lot of great uh, responses. Make sure you guys check out. If you like this, you probably like Cartel. Pick a show them Cartel. Cartel, yeah. Look Bam. At that. It's on our website. Our, probably our most popular pack, I would say. Future I would Bass say so. is getting there, too. Yeah. But if you like Future Bass, uh, this is also a great Future Bass. This is a great pack for you guys, too. We got uh, 90 presets in that, over 400 samples. Beautiful and pack. Some dubstep stuff. We got dub sauce, too, as well. Don't forget to check that out. That's our first pack we ever came out with. And actually, drum samples uh, in there. almost a year ago. Yeah, I think Isn't it is. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's super, We got to do something on our, our year anniversary. Yeah, we do. Right? When When is our year anniversary? So, well, it's not is really it in, our year is anniversary. It in March? Or? But I think uh, Dub Sauce came out July 1st of last year. July 1st, yeah. Remember that? We have to have a party or something, dude. Or do like a giveaway? Oh, yeah. If you guys have an idea for a giveaway, besides say like just give us every everybody gets something, <laughs> uh, maybe we can give away all the packs or something. Yeah, maybe something cool. Just look for it. Okay, so when we announce, when we announce, that's what we'll do. When we announce our next pack, we'll also announce a giveaway. Um, we're on the way to 9K, almost there. About to hit 10K. I think we're pretty close to 9K. I think we are pretty damn close. And yeah. 10K is great. We get to use, Parker says we get to use the YouTube studio. We get to film at YouTube, baby. Do you think they'll let us use the studio, dude? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you think they will, dude? We, we talk about a lot of interesting things. Yeah, dude. You can't get monetized. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, yeah, so that's how we live. By the way, is we do packs because we don't. We like to say curse words. Uh, we like to. Uh, <laughs> we like to say the uh, all the words all, actually. Not all the words. Excuse you, sir. It's all all uh, of them. All of them. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, go ahead and check out our website. It's www.excellentsound.com. You can check out our merchandise there. You can check out some packs if you guys want to support us. Uh, if you want to just go download a lot of free presets, we have over like almost 50 now, maybe? Almost 30, 60, I think. Almost 60 presets. Sure. Yeah, okay, so there's tons of free presets there, tons of free racks that we've been doing with all our videos. Go grab them. You can you can make a whole entire thing. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and uh, play some uh, music. Thank you to the people in the back. Baker in the back. Raul in the back. Jacques in the back. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna play. Uh, it's Maverick. T. Maverick. Maverick. Not Jake Paul Maverick. Not Logan Paul Maverick. The Maverick. And he just came out with a song called Tiny Horns. And Tiny Horns is a nice reference to us. I believe so. Super close to our hearts. If you got little tiny horns, gotta show them. Show them up. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and play this out. He's got a dope track. It's called Tiny Horns. Check him out. His SoundCloud is right here. If you want to be featured in one of our live streams or YouTube videos, please send your music to xlntfeedback at gmail.com. And we yep. will try to, if we like yep. it, we'll play it or we'll give you some feedback. This came out seven days ago. It's kind of doing good, dude. He's got like 5K. Yeah, it's killing. Check him out. M-V-R-K-K. Maverick. <laughs> Uh, let's play this bitch out, and we'll see you guys next time. Here we go. Oops, that's uh, not how you do it. I don't know if it's going to... I'm just going to come in where I want. Oh, that's pretty good. That's tight. And, by the way, he uses a majority... He has, like, all our packs. Oh, yeah, dude. Just saying. Just saying, bro. We heard some cashmere in there. I'm a fucking maverick, dude, all the way. There it is. That's one way to get your shit featured in our lives. Yeah, right. Let it play. Ooh. Cashmere pack. See you guys next time.